Come on, go. Let's go eat some fried fish. Fried fish. Come on, road and go. Let's go eat some fried fish. Fried fish. Cause there's no more pasta. Oh no. So we're gonna eat some fried fish. Fried fish. Yeah. Rated extravagantly luxurious by Architectural Digest since 1991, Madonna has owned and lived in countless homes all over the world. Most recently, she spent quarantine at her place in Lisbon, Portugal with her kids, where she filmed plenty of her interesting Instagram videos as well, like this one. That's the thing about COVID-19, it doesn't care about how rich you are, how famous you are, how funny you are how smart you are, where you live, how old you are, what amazing stories you can tell. The Queen of Pop lives in a historic multi-million dollar estate in the Portuguese capital, but it's far from her only property. Today we'll be giving you all the details on her current home, her New York City mansion and more. We even found the listings. We all know Madonna whether you consider yourself a fan or not. The singer slash songwriter slash actress is a pioneer of the music industry, being dubbed the queen of pop since the 80s. She's noted for her continuous reinvention and versatility in music production, songwriting and visual presentation. Of course, Madonna has often pushed the boundaries of artistic expression in pop culture while still remaining in charge of every part of her career. Many other artists consider her a major influence and her work has generated both praise and controversy over the years. Whichever way you spin it, Madonna has found success that most only dream of while staying true to her unique self. Among her long list of awards and achievements, she's been named the best-selling female recording artist of all time by Guinness World Records and one of the greatest artists of all time. Not to mention Madonna is the wealthiest woman in the entire music business. She sold over 300 million records worldwide and these days her estimated net worth is around $850 million. With that kind of money, it's no wonder she's afforded herself multiple mansions across the Glow. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests for this one, so today we're going to be looking at where the Queen Madonna calls home. From her current estate in Portugal, she lives with the fam, to her supersized dream house in Manhattan, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Tyra Banks and Billie Eilish, and we'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we look at her current home, let's see one of Madonna's previous and most memorable mansions. Being the level of celebrity she is, of course Madonna lived in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles for quite some time, and like you'd probably imagine, her home was fit for a queen. Madonna purchased her previous home in 2003 for 12 million off of Actress Cell Award. It's a French country estate right on Sunset Boulevard and what the listing calls a prime A plus location in the heart of Beverly Hills. More recently, the home's value has gone up to almost 30 mil. The palatial home sits on over an acre of sprawling land and inside spans 12,108 square feet of space with 9 beds, 10 full baths and 4 half baths. A tree-lined private driveway leads you up to the home and of course the whole estate is fully gated. There's a massive main home plus not one but two separate detached guest houses. It seems like double is a theme in Madonna's previous mansion considering there's also two designer kitchens. The main kitchen has vaulted ceilings with crystal chandeliers, marble countertops, custom cabinets, and high-end appliances. Madonna's former estate offered an indoor-outdoor vibe as the main dining areas open up to the large patio and pool out back. Some living spaces are topped with beam ceilings, while others have vaulted ceilings and skylights. The fully automated smart mansion offers seven fireplaces throughout, a full professional bar, staff quarters, person movie theater and if that's not enough, four additional surround sound TV viewing spaces. There's also a few offices and a fully equipped private gym. The 
master suite Madonna used to occupy boasts a fancy attached bath, French doors, a terrace and skylights, not to mention a massive walk-in closet. Moving outside to the palm tree covered grounds, there's plenty of patio space to entertain surrounded by a lush tropical landscape. The resort style swimming pool is 60 feet long with an attached spa and there's also a full tennis court. Of course, like many posh mansions like this one, the home went through a major remodel. The extensive revamp of the property including handmade custom cabinetry with details of old world craftsmanship blended with modern day. And the listing says the estate comes loaded with every detail thought through. Madonna occupied this estate midway through her provocative career living here for over a decade. She can always say this used to be my playground, but she sold it in 2013 for 19.5 million after her breakup with Guy Ritchie. So now for Madonna's current home, where we've seen her spending the recent self-isolation with her children. In 2017, the star purchased a palace on the stunning Iberian Peninsula for almost 9 million US. She relocated here for the football career of her adopted son David Banda. Madonna bought the historic Quinta de Relogio estate in Sintra, Portugal, just 20 miles from the capital Lisbon, and it covers a sprawling 5.5 acres of land. The property is anchored by an 18th century revival style mini palace that spans over 16,000 square feet and has four beds and seven baths. It was built back in 1865 by architect Antonio Manuel de Fonseca and it's a colossal, quirky and elaborate four-story home, but wasn't yet livable when Madonna first purchased. According to listing details, the structure was fine but needed plenty of renovations for move-in, which I'm sure by now have been carried out. The place is so old that the main house was once occupied by a future king of Portugal and his bride in the late 1800s where they spent their honeymoon. Whether or not Madonna fully completed those renovations in the main mansion, there's another secondary residence spanning 4,700 square feet that was extensively and luxuriously refurbished by Portuguese architect Tiago Bradel. And clearly from her Instagram, we can see the pop icon and her family settled in nicely and gave the estate quite the do up. Inside, Madonna's home is decorated in a regal classic style that still fits the heritage of the property. The family room looks to have blue walls with coordinating floor to ceiling curtains and wooden floors. She also has a painting of Frida Kahlo on the wall and a collection of guitars. A different photo of one of the main living areas showed cream carpets and a cream sofa. Madonna's kitchen captures Portuguese culture with a collection of baskets hanging across her ceiling. The room is white and has a rustic vibe from a concrete sink and worktops and we can also see a large stainless steel oven sitting in its own cove. Another area of the kitchen shows a casual dining table attached to another one of the living areas with a large fireplace and floor to ceiling glass doors throughout. There's also a playroom here for her kids which looks like it has beige carpets and white walls. Moving on to Madonna's bedroom suite, she chose a large green green velvet headboard and white linens for her bed, and keeps a photo of actress and friend Debbie Mazar hanging above. Not to mention there's a pillow with a personal message from Michael Jackson. We've also seen the Queen of Pop's luxurious attached bathroom like in her controversial video talking about the recent virus. It's white with a large marble bath, marble walls, and she has a large collection of toiletries covering almost every surface, which I can relate to. Thanks to a post on Madonna's Instagram stories, we also saw a terrace that surrounds the house. Glass doors lead to a cute garden with plenty of plants and there are larger gardens all over the property. In fact, the multiple gardens in the estate were designed in a romantic style according to the listing materials with a small lake, several springs and fountains, lush vegetation and flowers. There are also rare trees covering the property like centenary oaks, cedars and palms. If the two main living houses weren't enough space, there's also an additional guest house on the property and even a caretaker's cottage. Four separate residences mean there's more than enough space for visiting family and friends as well as any live-in staff Madonna has. Besides her European palace, Madonna's always been a New Yorker at heart ever since moving to the city when she was only 19 years old. So of course we gotta take a look at the lavish Upper East Side townhouse she's owned since around 2009. There's a block on 81st Street in Manhattan that looks pretty ordinary at first glance, but if you look a little closer beyond all the apartment buildings and townhomes, you'll notice the wall. It's 10 feet tall, black, and mounted with a row of metal points, and behind it sits a hybrid. Three red brick townhomes seamlessly merged to form a 
single mansion. This is the townhouse that Madonna built. When the pop icon gets some time to spend in Manhattan, this is exactly where you'll find her in the Upper East Side of the city at her supersized dream home. After purchasing the first home, Madonna grabbed up the two neighboring houses and had all three combined to make the ultimate New York abode. These days, the place is valued at a whopping $40 million, which is expected. The massive 26 room Georgian style residence is reminiscent of a London townhouse, spanning about 12,000 square feet spread over four stories. It's noted for the 57 foot width, making it one of the widest houses in the area. Inside, you'll find 13 bedrooms, multiple bathrooms, and nine fireplaces throughout. Some of the common areas in Madonna's New York mansion include a large drawing room as per the listing with tall south windows overlooking the garden, a panel dining room, a king size library, Georgian staircase, elevator, and 11 foot ceilings. There's also more than one garden here, including one on the rooftop. In fact, the main garden is one of the main features of the home, covering a massive 3,000 square feet. Tall trees and roses border the property, and there's also a double car garage, which is another rarity in the Upper East Side. A portion of Madonna's enormous townhouse now functions as a house or guest house with its own entry, so it can be used as additional quarters. Although Madonna has put in the money and work to make this custom mansion her New York dream, you may not even know she lives there. Known for keeping a private personal life most of the time, Madonna's Manhattan neighbors say the sightings of the Queen of Pop are minimal, besides the occasional black SUV picking her up. So now we've taken a look at the Queen of Pop aka Madonna's mansions across the globe, from her beautiful and historic estate in Portugal she currently spends most of her time, to her New York dream home and more. Let's not forget Madonna also reportedly owns properties in London, having a total of six over the years, and all in posh neighborhoods of course. You can even rent a former Georgia Muse apartment in London that she used to live in with her ex-husband Guy Ritchie if you're interested. Interested. After looking at some of Madonna's lavish properties, which one was your fave? I'm not much of a New York City girl myself, but her mansion is to die for. I love how elegant the design looks, and not to mention that 3,000 square foot garden. What did you guys think? As usual, be sure to let me know in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!